Namaste dear children, I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT Classic Science Chapter 9 Methods of Separation in Everyday Life Last Part. Children, we have already covered the chapter. Today we will see its summary and some exercise problems. What is hand picking? Hand picking is used for separating solid materials on the basis of differences in size, color and shape from a mixture. So, hand picking is used for separating solid particles based on their differences in size, color, shape etc. The process in which the stalks are beaten to separate grains from them is called threshing. So, threshing is used to separate stalks from grains. The method of separating lighter husk from heavier grains by wind or blowing air is called winnowing. So, winnowing is a process of separating lighter husk from heavier grains by wind or blowing air. The process of separating solids from a mixture based on variations in particle size using a sieve is called a sieving. So, sieving is a method of separation used for separating solids from a mixture based on variations in particle size using a sieve. Then what is evaporation? Evaporation is the process in which a liquid gets converted into its vapor. It can be used to separate a solid dissolved in a liquid. The process of settling down of heavier insoluble component at the bottom of a liquid is called a sedimentation. When the liquid is removed by tilting the vessel, the process is called a decantation. By the process of sedimentation, heavier insoluble components get settled at the bottom of a liquid. When the liquid is removed by tilting the vessel carefully, this process is called a decantation. Then filtration. Filtration can be used to separate insoluble solid components from a liquid. Then which method is used to extract butter from curd? Churning. Churning is used to extract butter from curd. Separation of magnetic and non-magnetic substances by using a magnet is called a magnetic separation. Match the following. First one, filtration. Insoluble particles get filtered as residue. Next one, decantation. Mixture of oil and water. Condensation. Conversion of water vapor into liquid state. Next one, hand picking. Larger particles are hand picked. Churning. Extract butter from curd. Evaporation. Separate salt from seawater. Next, winnowing. Lighter components of mixture is separated by blowing air. Next one, sedimentation. Heavier particles settle down. Next one, sieving. Difference in size of solid particles. Next, threshing. Beating stalks to remove grains. Next, magnetic separation. Difference in magnetic properties. Let us enhance our learning. What purpose does hand picking serve in the process of separation? Options are filtration, sorting, evaporation, decantation. Correct answer is sorting. Which of the following substances are commonly separated using the churning method? Options are oil from water, sand from water, cream from milk, Oxygen from air. Correct answer is cream from milk. Which factor is usually essential for the filtration? Options are apparatus size, 
presence of air pore size temperature of the mixture correct answer is pore size state with reasons whether the following statements are true or false also correct the false statements first one salt can be separated from salt solution by keeping it under the sun this statement is true what's the reason salt solution is a homogeneous mixture of salt dissolved in water keeping it under the sun will primarily evaporate the water leaving behind solid salt crystals hand picking should be used only when the quantity of one component is less this statement is correct true why hand picking is effective when the difference in size shape or color between the components is significant and one component is present in smaller quantities next one a mixture of puffed rice and rice grains can be separated by threshing is it possible no this statement is false why threshing is used to separate grains from stalks by beating it would not be effective for separating puffed rice from regular rice winnowing can be used a mixture of mustard oil and lemon water can be separated by decantation the statement is true why decantation is used to separate two immiscible liquids that means liquids that do not mix next one sieving is used to separate a mixture of rice flour and water the statement is false sieving is used to separate solids of different sizes to separate a mixture of rice flour and water filtration can be used next one mash the mixtures in column 1 with the method of separation in column 2 gram flour mixed with the black gram which method of separation can be used sieving then chalk powder mixed with the water we can use filtration corn mixed with the potatoes we can use hand picking iron powder mixed with the sawdust we can use magnetic separation oil mixed with the water decantation in what situations would you use decantation instead of filtration to separate solids from liquids decantation is a simpler and faster method than filtration when the following conditions are met the conditions are large heavy solid particles when the solid particles in the mixture are relatively large and dense they sit till at the bottom of the container quickly due to gravity then no fine particles decantation is less effective when the mixture contains fine particles that remain suspended in the liquid and do not sit till easily so decantation can be used when the solid particles are large and heavy also there should not be fine particles can you relate the presence of nasal hair to any separation process nasal hair acts as a natural filter trapping dust particles pollen bacteria and other small airborne particles before they can reach the lungs so it acts as a filter the next one during the covid-19 pandemic all of us wore mask generally what material are they made of what is the role of these mask what material are they made of mask are made of materials like cotton non woven polypropylene material etc what is the role of these mask when you wear a mask it helps to 
catch any tiny germs that might come out of your mouth or nose when you cough, sneeze or even talk. Mask can also help to stop some germs from entering your mouth and nose. A mixture containing potatoes, salt and sawdust has been given to you. So the mixture contains salt, then sawdust, potatoes. Outline a stepwise procedure for separating each component from this mixture. So we have to give a stepwise procedure for separating these components, potatoes, salt and sawdust. So first one is hand picking. Carefully pick out the potatoes from the mixture using your hands. Next method, add water. Add water to the remaining mixture of salt and sawdust. Salt will dissolve in water while sawdust will remain insoluble. So, we can use filtration. Pour the mixture through a filter paper. The sawdust will be trapped by the filter paper while the salt water solution will pass through and be collected in a separate container. The last step is evaporation. Gently heat the salt water solution. The water will evaporate leaving behind the salt crystals in the container. Children, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. We will see in the next video. Thank you.